Mitch McConnell, the Senate Majority Leader, on Capitol Hill on Thursday. Senators are scrambling to find ways to mitigate the cost of the tax bill after some lawmakers called for safeguards against ballooning the deficit. Zach Gibson for the New York Times want to get this briefing by email. Here's the sign up. Good morning. Here's what you need to know. Vote on tax plan expected today. Senators had to contemplate major changes to the tax bill after a nonpartisan committee found that proposed cuts would not pay for themselves, as Republicans have claimed. Follow our live briefing for the latest. On Thursday, the Joint Committee on Taxation said the measure would add $1 trillion to budget deficits over 10 years. One idea is to set the corporate tax rate higher than the 20% President Trump has called for. We asked how many people in each income group would get a tax cut. And in a video, we checked some Republican claims about the plan. Replacing a moderate with a hawk, the White House plans to force out Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, whose relationship with President Trump has been strained, senior administration officials said on Thursday. Mr. Tillerson would be replaced by Mike Pompeo, the CIA director who has called for ripping up the Iran nuclear agreement, suggested that regime change in North Korea would be welcome and played down talk of Russia's role in the 2016 election. Rex Tillerson at the White House last month. If he leaves his position before the end of the year, his time in office would be the shortest of any Secretary of State in nearly 120 years, excepting those whose tenure coincided with a change in presidents. Tom Brenner The New York Times Speaking of Russia, our reporters learned that Mr. Trump repeatedly urged Senate Republicans over the summer to end the Intelligence Committee's investigation into Russian interference. The requests were a highly unusual intervention from a president into a legislative inquiry involving his family and close aides. Our journalists analyzed the apologies, and non-apologies, of high-profile men who have been accused of UAL misconduct. Watch the men's various reactions here. On Thursday, the former NBC anchor Matt Lauer offered his apology, and fans of Today were processing the news. I'm very disappointed in him, one said. Leaders of the House called on Representative John Conyers Jr. to resign from Congress, and accusations against two more major figures came to light. Russell Simmons, the hip-hop mogul who co-founded Def Jam Records, and the playwright Israel Horowitz, the Times has started a newsletter, The Metu Moment, in which our gender editor, Jessica Bennett, will offer updates and analysis. Sign up here. NBC fired Matt Lauer this week after allegations of inappropriate behavior. In a statement, he expressed sorrow and regret for the pain I have caused. NBCU Photobank, via Getty Images immigrant acquitted in case invoked by Trump, an undocumented Mexican immigrant was cleared of murder and manslaughter in the 2015 killing of a San Francisco woman. Cited by Donald Trump during his campaign, the death of Catherine Steinle fed into a debate over whether immigrants without legal status should be dealt with more aggressively. The immigrant, Jose Ines Garcia Zarate, had been deported five times. After Thursday's verdict, a U.S. Customs official said the agency would work to take custody of Mr. Garcia Zarate and ultimately remove him from the country, the daily. The tax bill's trillion-dollar problem. Listen on a computer, an iOS device or an Android device. Emperor Akihito will step down on April 30, 2019, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe of Japan said today. It will be the first abdication by a Japanese monarch in two centuries. The emperor, pictured in November, said last year that he planned to step down before his death. He is 83. Kazuhiro Nogi Agents France Press, Getty Images Business One of the longest stock market booms in history continued on Thursday, with the Dow Jones Industrial Average closing above 24,000 for the first time. Here's a snapshot of U.S. stocks and global markets. The world's biggest battery was turned on today in Australia. The size of a football field, it was built by Elon Musk, the Tesla Motors founder, and can power 30,000 homes. You'll probably pay more for your Christmas tree this year. A Christmas tree lot in Idaho Falls, Idaho. A shortage of trees this year can be traced to the recession in 2008. John Rourke, the Idaho Post Register, via Associated Press Smarter Living Tips, both new and old, for a more fulfilling life, how to clean holiday stains, including gravy, wine, and blood, exercise may enhance brain training, recipe of the day this weekend, surprise someone with a homemade ginger stout cake. Noteworthy the new seven wonders of the world. In today's 360 video, visit the sites and monuments selected in 2007 as additions to the original list named in 250 BC. In memoriam, Jim Neighbors found fame as TV's amiable bumpkin Gomer Pyle, originally in a supporting role on The Andy Griffiths Show in 1962. 
With catchphrases like Shazam and Golly, the character was given his own series. Mr. Neighbors was 87. Ready for the weekend. At the S, our critic says, The Shape of Water, directed and co-written by Guillermo del Toro, is altogether wonderful. You can find all our new film reviews here. We recommend 12 new books, as well as what to on TV based on how much time you have. And our critics assess this year's crop of holiday releases, including Gwen Stefani and Herb Alpert, the 10 best books of 2017, our book review editors made their annual picks, the World Cup draw. The soccer tournament begins in June, but the 32 teams will be divided in two groups at 10 a.m. Eastern in a ceremony at the Kremlin. Russia is next year's host. Follow our live briefing and read a breakdown of every team. Best of late night TV, Jimmy Kimmel lashed out at Roy Moore, the Senate candidate in Alabama, over Christian values, quotation of the day, he was a good mentor, until he was the worst, probably most nightmarish mentor you could have, Jocelyn Meinhardt, who said she was raped at 19 when she began a summer fellowship in 1989 with the playwright Israel Horowitz. Mr. Horowitz has been accused by nine women of UAL misconduct. Backstory I it's considered the highest art form of its class, with equal parts risk and high reward. It's impossibly light, and taller than it is wide. The jeweled citrus peel is the dried cherry on top. We're of course speaking of panettone pronounced panettone, the traditional Italian bread served around Christmas. The boxed fruit cake lines grocery stores around the world but is deeply rooted in Milanese folklore dating to the Middle Ages. A seasonal treat with Italian origins. And wrong shoe for the New York Times One legend of its origin involves a nobleman's love for the daughter of a baker named Tony. Forbidden from marrying her, the nobleman disguised himself and went to work for the baker, creating a new bread to impress the woman, made with butter, eggs and candied fruit. The bread was such a hit at court, a new dessert was named in its honor, Pan del Tun, and the nobleman was allowed to marry the daughter. 500 years later, the boxed version of Panettone became widely available. Homemade Panettone is notoriously difficult butter a couple of degrees too warm can turn the dough to mush. But the proof of the pudding is in the eating, it melts in your mouth and it's suddenly gone, one baker, told the Times. And then you want to eat more, Remy Tumman contributed reporting, underscore 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 your morning briefing is published weekdays at 6 a.m. Eastern and updated all morning. Browse past briefings here. If photographs appear out of order, please download the updated New York Times app from iTunes or Google Play. What would you like to see here? Contact us at briefing at nytimes.com. You can get the briefing delivered to your inbox Sunday through Friday. We have four global editions, timed for the Americas, Europe, Asia and Australia, and an evening briefing on weeknights. Check out our range of free newsletters here. Follow Chris Stanford on Twitter at Stanford.